Hi guys, so managed to get out. Been ages since I've got out. The weather in the UK has been really terrible. Today's a wonderful day. It's, uh, it's a little bit windy, but no clouds, no rain. So I've come out with the Dart XL and I'm going to try and do some tests with the DJI goggles. So I'm going to do a little bit of proximity flying and then I'm going to push it out a little bit long range. I'm going to try the different power settings, um, starting at 25 milliwatts all the way up to 1200 milliwatts. Um, I'm using the Dart XL simply because um, I, it was quite easy for me to mount the components temporarily in here. So I've got the air unit uh, mounted in the front here. I've got a simple Y cable to allow me to uh, connect the LiPo and the air unit up because it runs off 4S, so that's fine. Um, and in the uh, back of the plane, um, underneath where my flight controller and normal VTX is mounted, which is currently disconnected, I've actually mounted the uh, the Arduino um, underneath the uh, this lift-up panel here, so it's quite neat. So uh, the Arduino in there is what's going to be using the Mavlink telemetry to send the data for the OSD to the uh, the DJI goggles. So uh, let's say how this goes. Well, uh, I'll give a bit of a commentary as I'm flying to tell you what I'm doing because you won't be able to see the OSD. Unfortunately, the DVR on DJI at the moment doesn't record the OSD elements, so a bit of a shame, but I'm sure they'll fix that soon. Um, and then when I've done all of that, I'm going to power the plane up with the analog system. I'm going to do some DVR recording and see how the DJI goggles work in analog mode flying a plane. So uh, compared to my fat shacks, which of course are just purely analog. So uh, let's give this a try and, uh, and see how we do. Okay, we'll launch the plane and uh, see how we get on. I'm starting off at 700 milliwatts. Okay, she's away and loitering. Let's check this out. The first thing is when you put these goggles on, when you're in proximity mode is, oh my God. So I'm recording now and uh, it really does take a little bit of time to get your head around what you're actually seeing. So I'll just do a little bit of proximity flying on 700 and then we'll see how we get on. It's a little bit windy. But what you can see Pretty incredible. Here I am down here. Do a flyby. This is 700 milliwatts. Proximity flying. Uh, the OSD seems to be reporting everything okay. Battery voltage, altitude, distance from home. It's going to turn back towards me. And Okay, so longitude and latitude seem to be working. I've got 18 satellites locked. But the pitch and roll function, which is supposed to be the direction to home, doesn't seem to be working. I've got 73 and 21.9 in those values, so that doesn't seem to be working properly. So I've got battery voltage and I've got longitude and latitude and I've got link quality, number of satellites. I've got speed. And altitude. So let's just push this up a little bit. I'll come behind me so I'm actually flying away from the goggles. 
haven't used goggles for flying a plane for some time without a ground station so I need to make sure I've got the uh, goggles pointing at the plane as best I can so I'll come behind myself and then I'll give it some altitude put it into cruise keep it in that direction and then I'll uh, give it some altitude so here I am pretty well so some altitude that's 120 meters it's the legal limit here we'll just cruise away Okay, so that's 700 milliwatts. Good picture. Away from these houses. Not exactly sure how far away it is, about two kilometers. Well, I'm just going to flick return to home and see what that looks like in the ice sheet. Well, you don't get any visual indication that you're on return to home. over those farm buildings below see right in the distance there's a couple of woods and then beyond those woods there's a green field a tree line that's where I am get blown around a little bit in this wind so I'll just let it cruise back home take the power down a little bit Five amps against the wind. Okay, let's try some different power settings. So that's all 700. Just going to crank it up. That's a thousand. That's 1200. Drop it down. 1000, 700, 500, 200, 25 milliwatts. You see on the edges, I've got focus mode on that we've got a little bit of break up on the edges. 200, 500, 700, 1000. 1200, 1200 it's crystal clear pretty much. Okay, I've got that down to 700, make sure it stays nice and cool. Okay, take it out of cruise and we'll just uh, So let's just take it down behind these trees. Get low behind these trees. Wow, I've never seen that wind turbine look 
like that before, it's just crystal clear. Pretty incredible really. I'm going to love flying proximity planes with these, the goggles. Okay, so we're going to come low behind these trees and see what happens. At 700 milliwatts. Okay, so I'm getting some break up now as you can see. Go down below the trees. Get some break up. trees it's absolutely fine. Let's do a low pass. Oh, I can see the field, the water, everything. Okay. I've pulled 1840 milliamp hours out of the battery. All right, let's bring this one into land. I'll push it out again. We'll take it out a bit further on 1200. We'll see how that uh, how that looks. So a little bit of fun first with this uh, proximity flying. I fly behind myself. I'm looking forward. Flying behind myself, the edge of this field here is about half a kilometer away. Where this uh, hedgerow intersects these two fields, about half a kilometer or so. It's pretty good. change the battery and we'll push out on 1200 milliwatts. It'd be interesting to see how warm this air unit is. It is in the nose of the plane so it's getting a lot of airflow. The temperature today is probably about 4 degrees, something like that. planes for a few months now but landing is still a bit hit and miss especially if it's windy okay I do have quite a narrow strip to land on here damage this plane, quite delicate. Okay, let's go. Clear for landing tower. Roger that. Coming in hot. Be it. This has got to be the landing. Shit or bus, crash or not, I don't want to run out of battery. Right, let's 
on this side. And so. Okay, we're down. In a puddle. Stop the recording. Go and retrieve the plane. Well, that uh, has brought this to a quite a, an abrupt end. When I landed in that puddle, a little bit of water went into the front of the plane, not much, and certainly no water reached the uh, the flight controller right at the back of the fuselage. But now, when I try and arm the plane, I get um, in INAV in the OSD barometer failure and a constant beeping. So. Uh, I've never had a barometer failure in my life, so it's something new to me, so I'll need to go back and investigate it. Um, I've depowered and repowered the plane several times. I have got uh, a red light on the, on the F405 wing flight control. I've got a, a constant red light, a blue and green flashing light, and the OSD just displays barometer failure, so not really sure what that is. Uh, obviously, the barometer's failed. Um, it is what it says. Um, but I don't know how to fix it and I certainly can't fix it in the field so uh, I will be back um, but uh, at least we've got a test flight with the uh, DJI system and uh, I've got to say proximity um, and out to like three kilometers it was brilliant shame I couldn't test the analog but uh, I will be back <laughs>